Dude, this guy herded me through Gamer Dad. What the heck? That's sick. I seen Gamer Dad's been popping off on uh, Twitch, man. Alright, we're out of here. Uh, nah. I gotta just rent a land. I don't want to be late. Yeah, he does deserve it, man. Gamer Dad is awesome. His stream is really nice to be in, even when the games are going bad. Because, like, he just has a good personality and vibe. That's one thing about a lot of League streams, I think also mine included, is like, when the games are going bad, sometimes it's not the most fun to watch. Because League is kind of just a... That's just kind of how League is as a game, right? If you're losing hard, it's kind of hard to make it entertaining. Also, speaking of losing hard, this lane is hard losing for me. But we'll try our best. Probably gonna get a time at rush to uh, fight back on his wave clear a bit. I think a Ma would also be pretty good this game. They're all AP with a Kaisa. Or 4 AP, I guess. But Kaisa also does a bit of magic. MRs really, really value this game. Actually, Force of Nature would be crazy value. Carnage, as intoxicating as In Vancouver, there's no difference between a $1 million house and a literal crack shack. Is that true? That's crazy. Yeah, I know Vancouver is pretty close to Washington, so makes sense. Goliath online. Yeah, I've literally seen houses around where I live for like 700k that are like fixer uppers. Like it, it's insane, dude. If I'm spending 700k, which, by the way, if you buy a house for 700k, you're gonna be I don't know the exact math on it, but you're probably p paying like close to a million. Unless you can just buy it outright, but no one can really do that. So like you're basically paying a million bucks for a fixer upper, which is so insane to me. Oh, I should have turned W off there, whoops. The fact we're tied in CS is kind of crazy. Nice. Dodging that E is huge. If he lands that E, we get tagged by all his towers. I welcome you. Hey, Lemon Boss. Thanks for the two months of Prime, dude. Welcome in, Mr. Solo. Save your mental from top lane. Oh man, I take it your games went bad today. Top lane's been bad for me too, man. I feel ya. I've been really trying to focus on myself. Also, this mage minion is bugged out. That's gonna kind of mess mess up the lane here a bit. Actually, it's kind of nice. The mages don't push in. You went 0-5, you feel worthless? Oh, man. Yeah, that's how my last uh, my last three days have been like that. I feel you, dude. Top lane's tough right now. I wish I had some better advice for you, but honestly, top lane is it's kind of tough right now, man. 
I think I'm also needing some advice. But I've been really trying to focus on myself. And uh, it's been helping out a little bit. Like, in the short term, I've been thinking about the long term rather than the short term. In the short term, you can definitely get super unlucky. But in the long term, if I play consistent, I, I feel like it'll be fine, you know? I don't know if that made much sense. I'm kind of just talking while landing here. Okay, he went for the TP back here. Might do the same myself. This wave is honestly not the best, though. Whippo's been doing pretty well. He has been doing good from I what I've seen. You. Hey, thanks for the 34 month reset, Days. Hello. Hmm, it's than the then again, though, Blip, or, uh, then again, Blip is a insane player, so. I feel like that guy's always gonna do good if you're a pro player. But no, that is a good point. Like, there is people still doing very well in top lane. I think, again, that's where it just comes down to, like, short term versus the long term. Because, like, I'll, I'll see Blippo have bad days and get super unlucky still. I'll see him have days where his bot lane just loses every game. But then once he gets those even games, like he's almost guaranteed to win because he always plays consistent. Or yeah, he plays more than consistent. He plays really good. Any challenger player is like consistently crazy good. So if he doesn't get that feeding bot lane, like chances are he will probably win. That's kind of what top lane feels like right now. You've got to play more for being consistent. We get a little bit of attack speed from that Hextech drag. It's actually kind of nice. Because I have to auto attack a lot in this land. Any fruits? You finally got your PC set up in Canada? Ooh, nice, dude. Were you playing on a laptop before that? Wow, we got both of his wards. This is so gankable right now. Dodge out the E. We just have to land Grindy. Let's be patient. I might E flash. Ooh, we got the grinder still nice. That was a good flash by Heimer, not gonna lie. That dude was ready for the E flash. You were on your work laptop? Oh god. What was the FPS on that thing? Gosh, I used to when I first started playing League, I played on a really old Toshiba laptop. And I kid you not, dude, I got like 20 to 30 FPS. In team fights, it would drop down to like 10. I remember Lux's abilities, I couldn't see on my laptop. Like, it couldn't handle it. So, like, Lux E was completely invisible. This was back in, like, Season 3, Season 4. This is nice. We can just beef up now. I think tie mat is kind of all I need to uh, tie this land. Now we just beef up, survive the burst. Especially with using my flash, I'm probably not going to kill this guy for a little while. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I'm spoiled nowadays with the... Uh, I'm still rocking my GTX 1080. 
Which I don't... Is that still considered, like, a pretty good card nowadays? I got it when it first came out, and it was, like, insane. Nowadays, it's probably, like, what, middle tier or something? See if we can flank this, maybe. Pick out his tower first. Hmm, it's close. I wanted to limit test it. I thought I could survive his burst, but wow. I guess not. Had a giant spell and a merc tread and a D shield. Should have waited for my conditioning proc, though. An ally has been slain. 1080 is good, but it's starting to show its age a little bit. Yeah, I could see that. I think if I got like a newer game, it would probably be a little bit sketchy running in like full graphics. But it does the job for streaming league. Replace the thermal paste. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, I haven't done anything to it since I've gotten it. Yeah, not gonna lie, dude. Hymer is super counter for Urgot. I feel like I have this matchup figured out how to, like, tie the lane. But I can't really ever go for kills, which is kind of obnoxious. Just feel like I'm permanently, like, wave clearing and dealing with the towers. Maybe once I have flash, we'll see. But it's hard to burst him in time. I don't like the Heimer matchup. Heimer is bad for all juggernauts. Yeah, that's what it seems like. I've done okay with Mordekaiser, but even then, a good Heimer can still kind of kite you out. It's just like the Death Realm is kind of nice. Wow, that's my bad. If we're getting Dragon, I should just back up there. There's a good chance they're going to try something top lane. Um, I could sell my D shield, but I feel like it's kind of nice in this matchup. Could maybe sell this and then wait. That might be all right. Our mid game is going to be really good, though. I'm okay with, like... I wouldn't even say we're, like, hard losing lane yet, but I'm okay with, like, tying or slightly losing. Ooh, I could actually look for a teleport here. Any wards? Not looking too good. Or is it? Nice. Let's go, dude. That's a value teleport. Yeah, that's why we're not worried about the mid game. We'll do more in team fights. Also, once I get a Force of Nature, I don't think they're killing me this game. Well, maybe Force of Nature Protein. I think we'll do... Let's see, how do we want to do this? I kind of want to go Cleaver before anything. But then that's going to delay out the... Uh, hmm, okay. Mm, this is tricky. This might be a mistake. I'm not sure. Maybe Cleaver would be better. I kind of want to just go Protein straight into Force of Nature, though. And then 
we'll do Cleaver fourth, which is kind of weird, but I think it'll be good. I got double deaths, dude. I feel like that Talon didn't even really need me. Dude is crazy strong. Still got our grinder here. She's not even hopping over. She knows I'm going to take the kill. I think that teleport play gave them some emotional damage. Some good stuff. Team needs to be ready to back me up here. Okay, we're good. The nice thing about Titanic is it actually, uh, so it doesn't actually proc on turrets, but it does actually work, like the cleave. Like, you still get the damage, even though it doesn't show the animation proccing. They just did that so it wouldn't, like, put the tower on you. It was actually a really nice quality of life buff, buff a while back. A long while back, actually, now. Alright, we, we want to be ready for the uh, dragon fight here. I think we can actually go Cleaver before Force of Nature, though. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Team should be a little bit careful, because right now that's a 3v5. They are really fed though. Maybe they could still win this. I just don't think it's worth the risk. Ooh, good blitz fall though. I guess they do win this. Wow, that's crazy. Literal 3v5. Looking for the snipe here, maybe. issue with timers once you get MR is useless yeah pretty much the thing is hold on a sec make sure we don't go in the kindred ulti feeling like a bit of a raid boss right now the protein is such a good buy here. Protein into these uh, heavy MR teams is insane. Or heavy AP teams. That's what I was going to say, though. I, I think if you go Heimer, I, I feel like you need to draft like AD mid, AD jungle. Like their draft is too much magic. I was hoping for the Penta. That was close to being a Penta, actually. I was kind of thinking I'd get that too. Until that guy KS me. Oh my gosh. Swing and a miss. Good try. Definitely worth a shot. This red buff will uh, heal us up a little bit. I could also just TP back in. I think I'll do that.
Just to make sure we can end. Okay, that was a little bit rude. They got tower up, guys. Oh my goodness. Can I get that E off? I should not have gone for that E flash, but it's all good. Kindred should also be with us, man. This guy's just power farming jungle. He's trying to get his S plus rating. There's something. Kaisa with the shutdown. We should be fine. I think this game will be pretty hard to throw. Another thing about Heimer that you want to keep in mind, like the lane really sucks for him, but I feel like team fights are always pretty good. If your team knows how to play versus Heimer, you can just focus the big turret and kill it like instantly usually. I can't remember, can the jungle smite the big tower on Heimer? You might be able to smite it, but I can't remember. Wow, nice. Like, I died instantly. No assist, even. You can smite the turrets? Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, if you're a. Uh, if your jungle's on top of that, like, you can insta kill those turrets. Or the big one. It's almost kind of like a Yurik Maiden, right? If you just take that out, the champion loses a lot of his value. And it's pretty easy in the late game. But you need everybody to be on the same board and, like, actually focus it. But, yeah, I feel like I have a pretty good win rate versus Heimer if I just kind of survive the land. Wow, I got that kill? Did my Titanic spread get that? Nice, GG's. Ooh, that's a cool Rengar skin. Oh man, we're actually gonna lose this. I timed my flash there with him jumping, so he couldn't jump on me again. Um, honestly, this might not be too bad. Yeah, like I said at the start of this, I, I'm i not sure what exactly what to expect from a Rengar lane. It's kind of been a while since I've played it. We might mess up a little bit in this lane. It's a tough one, man. It's tough early game. I feel pretty comfortable against it later. It's just always, early game always gives me troubles for Strangar. Oh dang, we're gonna miss a lot of these. Ooh, nice, got the two and one. That's not too bad. Goodness. Alright, no more missing CS, man. Gotta warm up a little bit. Rengar's level 2.
Yeah, he has gun AP rain guy. Alright, we're just gonna go for a call back here. We gotta play the early game a little bit safer. Wow, Dinah's 1v2ing on a gank. Jeez, okay. Hey, good to see you, Wurro. Ergot can't level one Rengar. Um, I've done it before. I think it depends on like their setup. I've definitely won the level one before though. But you definitely have to get the jump on them. I, th I think it's really close though. I think it depends on a few factors. Maybe if I'm running TP, I shouldn't go for it. Wave clear is actually really good on AP rain guy. I wasn't pushing right away because I wasn't sure if he was hiding in the bush. But it looks like he's going for the back now. Aw oh, man, we can fight in the wave at least. I have a lease coming pretty soon. Oh dude, he insta clears the wave with W though. Pop HP, we can fight this. Thank you, sir. Good counter gank. Dude, I can't believe that W wave clear, though. It's been a while since I played versus this guy. This guy, I think this guy's got into like Grandmaster playing a uh, AP Rengar. Cause I used to play versus him in Masters. Um, honestly, I don't know if Cleaver is the buy. I kind of want to go Titanic and just survive his burst. I'm gonna do that. I feel like Wave Clear and just like anti burst is gonna be really good right now. So we'll go for Cleaver second, most likely. You don't know what AP Rengar does? Basically, his W just does a ton of damage. And he can do two Ws, and then also first strike boosts the damage a little bit. First strike, ignite. Why don't you get a time at? Uh, I don't need the wave clear quite yet. I'd rather have a little bit of HP. We get the same damage from a time mat and pickaxe. The wave clear would be nice. I just value HP a little bit more right now. Because I feel like if we just live, we have to outscale AP Rengar. It's kind of a cheese pick. Like, he'll probably one-shot somebody on my team. But we should be able to do more than him. One thing to keep in mind in this matchup, though, is he can cleanse your ulti with his W. But it has to be empowered W. Oh, 
man, he's so slippery. I should have waited for my E. Jumped the gun a little bit. Okay, he's going for the ulti. We push here. Ooh, nice. Wow, Lulu wins the support battle too. That's pretty good for us. I'm gonna get one more plate, assuming he used ulti. He could have joined that fight without ulti though, but I think we'll be good here. Nice, got that right in time. I welcome you. Hey, thanks for the prime dirty ravioli. Interesting name. Thank you, dude. Mm. I guess we'll just do that. We got a TP back, try to deny him the plate. Dang it. W failed me. Okay, he's got a ton of AP right now. I gotta be really careful. I need a Q before I E in this matchup. He's so fast. Uh, Sivir? You good, brother? Why? Why is she gonna do this, man? I'm so sick of these ADC players, man. Dang, my lane is going so well, but now we're gonna share XP. It's gonna put me really behind. I can't stand when ADCs lose lane and do this. Sivir doesn't even auto attack. This guy's such a troll, man. Oh well. At least we kill Rengar. Could be worse. We're just gonna have to give her top lane, sadly, and go uh, probably bot lane here, I guess. Maybe Ezreal goes top here with the, uh, the Seraphine. We gotta see where Sivir goes. Okay, she canceled her recall. Probably just go bot then. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just ADC players these days. If they die once or twice, they just completely lose their mental. I think out of the... Uh... Actually, hold on a sec. I think out of like the last 10 trolls we had we've had I think at least eight of them have been ADCs like eight or nine of them Well, she gets the solo kill. Nice. Drag would be really nice. I want a mountain drag. Probably gonna get protein this game. Ooh, 
good try. Well, we got their jungle. I think we can just do this. Yeah. Getting kind of baited right now. I shouldn't have done that E. I don't know if we can do this now. man I think honestly I'm gonna meet my I'm gonna meet my team this game that's what we're gonna do actually I think honestly even if we turn back on drag it's still kind of sketchy there mm, we'll get Mercreds looks like they probably win the fight so we'll just get back top here Prowler's game. Uh, I'm gonna go protein. Your team has destroyed I think anti burst is really good this game. They have like pretty low damage. They have pretty uh like low tank shred. They have decent burst actually, but they have like low tank shred. Also, we got a mountain drag, so that'll boost up my protein a little bit. Jack show the protein shake. Exactly, dude. Okay, I know I say a lot of words wrong, but I don't think I say protein wrong. There's only like one way to say that, right? I think everybody says protein, right? I don't think I'm saying that one wrong. He knows. Maybe I am. People say that I say dragon wrong. I don't. I don't know another way to say it, man. Titanic is feeling really good this game, by the way. I'll just do that for now. We can sell our call for Kindle later. Divine Sunday. The, uh... Oh, wait. It's not there anymore. Sometimes... Oh, there it is. That's the Sunday, dude. Divine Sunday. It's chilling. It's watching over the rift. No coming back. It's the Easter egg, dude. That's a really weird TP ward. I'm going for it though. Oh, I could have E flash. He has nowhere to jump to. Wow, the trolls actually coming in clutch. It's unexpected. We should just take their jungle. The timers are so short right now. If it's even up. Wow, AP Rengar does that much damage to towers? Really? I don't know if I can go for this. 
Wow, he actually gets in him. Okay, I guess we should have reset right away. Honestly, didn't think he was going to take tower that fast, and I also thought at least could easily save the inhib. That's my bad. That's really nice we got to save our flash there. We can do a lot in this fight. I don't want to show mid lane right now. Really weird how Elise is pushing out top, but I guess we'll just take camps then. Got a witch ban. Pretty sure he can't burst me though at this build. I'm too beefy. I think on average Cleaver first is best, yes. I think for this game, Titanic was better, though. Because all I need to do is survive and wave clear. Well, that's not all I need to do, but that's the most important things I need to do. can dive this guy if we land D. Mm, they're gonna rotate on me though. Rengar is ulting super early. If my team rotates, we should be fine. He wants me to E in. I'm not gonna get baited by it. Knocking all in, then I gotta go defend towers. We should all in here, though. Tech room's gonna ult in, I think. Oh, he better not steal this dude. We gotta get the base. Gotta get base here. I should have TP'd on it. Mm, let's do this for now. I need resist. I should have TP'd. I was too worried about it getting cancelled by Seraphine though. But I think right after that ulti I should have. I could have maybe saved that tower. They're kind of melting our towers right now. Yeah, I don't think Eclipse is good anymore, sadly. I'm doing pretty good, Smook. How are you? Rengar melting towers? Yeah. I'm kind of not used to playing versus that strat. Weapon to Eclipse. They made the Omnivamp lifesteal, which is really bad for Urgot.
Can maybe go for the dive on this guy. He's playing very disrespectful. That was so nice. Such a nice angle, dude. Well, Eclipse, it doesn't show that it gives lifesteal, but it actually does. The tooltip is just bugged. So it, it does give 10% lifesteal. But lifesteal just isn't... Isn't really much on Ergot, to be honest. Wow, this guy's going for inhibs. I can't even TP, because he's just going to get it in time. Okay, she barely saved it. Nice. We have to wait a little bit of gold anyway, so. Just seeing if I could get a quick pick. All right, nice. Core build is done. You mean Ravenous Hydra? So Ravenous Hydra and Eclipse both got their Omnivamp changed to Lifesteal. Um, it, it might not show it in the tooltip, but that's just because the tooltips are bugged. In the patch notes, it said that it got changed to lifesteal and also got ability haste. If they they, they might have scrapped it, I'm not sure. I can investigate investigate after this game. It was supposed to get 10% though. But uh, to answer your question, I'm not building Ravenous or Eclipse anymore. I think they're both pretty gutted. Dude, I'm going to recall just in case Rengar tries to, like, backdoor. I think he's going to backdoor in Hibs. We need to get a control ward for that as well. out of this red An enemy has been slain. I'm gonna just chase at least might be able to cut him off or we could chase for a grind day wow no assist all that work man Well, good thing we got good wave clear this game. Oh yeah, I guess you're probably right, because it doesn't have the Vamp Scepter anymore. I'm um, thinking probably just Sterex. We don't really need much else. Sterex and a Stone Play I think would be solid. Or even Sterex Visage maybe with the Ocean Soul. That could be good too. They are really heavy AP. Sterex is good though, because we want damage for Wave Clear right now. That's the most important thing. I think we're going to be spending a lot of time clearing waves here. Um, I do have teleport, but I don't think it's a good time to teleport, so hopefully my team can win that. These waves are massive. That Ringer has nothing to get up there. I was hoping we could push this out and maybe try for a Baron play, but it looks like they're rushing it. 
Look at all that gold, though, man. That's nice. 400 gold in those supers right there. Okay, we might have to teleport top here, depending on how they play this. Unless my team just resets. Ideally, I want to keep pushing here. They got Ezreal up. I can kill Ezreal pretty easy right now with an E-Flash combo. We'll try for bot inhib here. Or at least bot tower. I don't know about inhib. Let's be a little bit more respectful in the chat, Cap. Especially if you're talking about another streamer, please don't, please don't insult other streamers like that. I don't want that stuff in my chat, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Should we go Stone Plate or Spirit Visage? Kind of a tough call. I feel like Spirit Visage would be kind of nice. Because we have a Lulu as well. We gotta force mid before they get the split push going here. Looking like a GG. Nice. All right, not too shabby. Kind of a weird game, but I feel pretty good about that one. I, th I think we should have been a little bit more... Uh, if I play against that guy again, now that I know how fast he kills towers and everything... I'll be like a little bit ahead of his game, I think. Nice, S plus for that game though. I think we did our job. Like wasn't the most flashy game, but I, I think overall we just did our job. I welcome you. Good wave clear, didn't feed. I'll take it, dude. Freed by chains.